In the second part of my presentation, I will shortly discuss some challenges and possibilities of agricultural museums, especially in Finland. We still have a lot of small collections and private museums at the countryside holding big amounts of important historical objects. They preserve the local variety of different tools and machines that are impossible to fit in any museum's collections. Many of these private collections and also local museums are situated in usually poor conditions. Also, their caretakers are getting old and all of their posterities are not keen on proceeding with their work. Under insufficient supervision, great accidents may happen. Our museum has established a network for private and local museums called Museoraitti. It provides information and support to small museums that might not have professional staff. It also maintains unique web pages and publishes shared brochures to help these museums in their marketing. The challenge is to preserve the most valuable items and histories from the private and local collections and to make them attractive enough for future generations. The possibility, on the other hand, is the interest shown by the public under these post-pandemic times in countryside resorts and simple, self-sufficient life. Agriculture and food. The idea to the newest addition to our museum, the Food Museum, came from SEMA 2017 conference in Tartu. Especially, I have to thank Kerry Lee, whose Canadian example was really inspiring, and also our museum's management, who instantly owned the idea. We received funding to create the food museum concept inside our museum's existing exhibitions. The project has brought the idea of agriculture as part of the food production chain closer to people who have otherwise been alienated from its meanings. The food museum concept has given us new audiences and visitors, as well as a lot of positive publicity. The challenge here is that we are too few in our permanent staff to keep this new branch up to date when the project is now about to end. So it would be crucial to maintain the funding and find more resources. There are still many possibilities concerning food as the global problems in, a mo in the moment of crisis give a huge meaning to understanding food production and its origins. Accessibility. Accessibility has been an important issue for all of our relatively new exhibitions. Different client groups has been taken in into consideration in designing our exhibitions and other actions. Accessibilities of museum collections has also been an international issue, also stately supported, in which our museum has been involved from very early stages. There are many kinds of challenges here. The sudden closing up of the world last year created also a new situation to the museums. How to maintain your public and customers when they are not allowed to leave their homes? A fast digitalization of the exhibitions took place. We also had a bit of luck here. When we were nominated as a candidate in the Museum of the Year contest, it also provided us the possibility to get our exhibition accepted as one of the first in Finnish digital museum project. The result is displayed online. The fast development in digitalization is also a challenge in keeping up, especially on collection catalogues. New platforms are being produced all the time, better, faster and more up to date. The projects are large and expensive, and many times the programs and apps are already old fashioned when they are finally published. The possibilities on the digitalization continue to be great. To get to visit places, countries and museums otherwise inaccessible online from your home couch is a huge opportunity. 
The future technologies most certainly add even more experiences to the remote visitors in our museums. Still, I would give all the digital advices surrounding me this moment if only I could be with you live at reading right now. Let's hope it will be possible soon. Thank you for listening.